to a new video in Roblox Studio. Today I am going to be teaching you guys how to um how to make a like button in Roblox Studio. So what we do is uh we um what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the button first. So we would insert a screen GUI to start a GUI by plusing the pro plus and then we um press screen GUI and then let's rename this just to button GUI. Well, I'm going to do that. You can use this for anything you want. I'm just going to name it that. Then we're going to insert a text button. We are going to like move this text button wherever we want. I'm going to move it right up here. Uh, you guys can name it whatever you want. I'm not going to name it. And then I'm going to set the background transparency. No, I'm, you know what? I'm going to set the color to 255. I'm going to make it red. And then we're going to do zero. Oh, well. And then we're going to do zero. RGB just stands for red, green, blue. If you do 255, comma, zero, comma, zero, you get red. If you do um, zero, comma, 255, comma, zero, you get green. And if you do zero, comma, zero, comma, 255, you get blue. So let's just make it red. So I, I'm just going to make it a little fancy, but, uh, you know, so I can press text scaled. I'll name it um, press me. And then let's change the font to bangers because I really like that one. It's like the classic 30s uh, comic book stuff, because I like comic. Alright, now let's add a local script into this. So, when we do this, we're going to write script.parent. So when we say script.parent, we are referencing the text button, since this is where, when we say script, we reference the script, and when we say dot .parent, we reference the, uh, the text button, because that's the parent of the script. And then we say dot .mouse button one click, connect, function parentheses enter so that'll form us a new end and then we're just connecting this and making it a function and then um this is basically it but don't click off the video yet because um what we have to do now is we have to uh like we, we can do something so let's do print i have been pressed now let's hit play See, we don't have anything in our output, even though I had print. So we have to click on press me, and boom, it'll it'll say I have been pressed. See, I just spammed it multiple times. But if we want to do something cool, we can like spawn in a part, for example. So we'll get rid of all this, and th but first we need to declare a variable up up top. So we're just gonna enter a few times, and we're gonna say. So let's make a new part. So let's do local new part equals instance dot new part and then okay so now what we can do inside this is we can do new part dot parent equal equals workspace because that'll make it the workplace and let's do new part dot brick color equals brick color dot new let's make it what do we want let's make it brown and then we can do new part dot material equal equals enum dot material dot hmm, what do we want to make it plus terrain only oh I did not know that that's nice um let's make it neon and then we can hit play this is using Roblox's instant dot new feature oh and then boom we only have one part in there so you see when I press it, it doesn't really work again, but we just got one part. I mean if I check my workspace, yep, we only got one part. So yeah, it's kinda like my uh spawn apart tutorial. Now I think I might make a part two to this with um so what the part two, you know what it'll be? We will make it so when you press a button, it teleports you. Cause then I can make like a little series of teleporting, because you know I have that simple teleport. I'm not gonna simple teleport button. So, thank you guys for watching. If you would like to get this model down below, since I'm going to make it a model for everyone to get, um, you can just, uh, you can check, you can just join the server down below to get it. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.